2021 has been one wild year so far with everything that we're going through. Celebrities have been taking this time to focus on themselves or experiment with their looks, which we'll be looking at in today's video. From Jonah Hill's mental and physical transformation to celebrities who got some shocking surgeries. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Top 10 Biggest Celebrity Transformations of 2021, Part 2. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host for today's video, Lindsay Ivan. You might recognize me, I've been on this channel before, but I'm also on a brand new reaction channel called Peach, so please go check out Peach, you know, be a peach yourself. I promise that the channel is fun and entertaining. You'll have a good time, so please go check it out. With that being said, let's get on with the video. Starting off this countdown, we have Macy Williams. Macy Williams appeared at the 2021 Brit Awards looking like a whole new person. Her new look consists of her eyebrows and hair both bleached platinum blonde. Honestly, if anyone can pull this look off, it's her. I could never. Ugh. But anyways, fans were wondering why she went for such a dramatic look. Well, rumor has it it's for her new role in an FX limited series centered around the Sex Pistols. So I'm excited, I can't wait to see that. In our ninth spot today, we have Luke Evans. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to smash that like button because it really helps us out. Just this year, actor Luke Evans posted about his workout results and showed some amazing before and after photos. The caption for these photos said, and I quote, Eight months of work, but I got there. June 2020 to February 2021. Not bad for 41 years of age. Hashtag nearly 42. Yeah, he is looking great for 41. All throughout his journey, he made sure to keep his followers updated, regularly posting shirtless photos of him. Now, he also revealed that when he is getting super fit for roles, he is on a pretty strict diet. But he doesn't want to live that lifestyle constantly. He said, and I quote, I don't need to be super ripped all year round. That's a pretty miserable way to live. Moving on to number eight, we have Chloe Ferry. Chloe Ferry is known for being part of MTV's Geordie Shore back when she was a teen, but her appearance has drastically changed since those days. It's said that Chloe has spent more than $60,000 to achieve this look. And she announced this year that she won't stop with the surgeries until she has achieved her ideal perfect look. This year though, fans became worried for Chloe after her dramatic weight loss following her breakup. She even posted on social media saying, lost so much weight off this breakup diet. She went on to say she's always wanted a tiny waist and big breasts and bum. A lot of people slammed her saying that this is not what she should be promoting on her page. It could have a negative impact on young girls out there. Moving on at number seven, we have Olivia Rodrigo. The release of Driver's License brought Olivia into the spotlight. From there, she has been killing it with all her other songs like Good For You and Deja Vu. Her transformation is more inner than physical. She got over that controversial breakup and now she's focusing on self-love and just she really blossomed as a performer. In fact, a lot of other singers have praised her for this. Ed Sheeran compared her to Avril Lavigne, saying that she's this generation's Avril Lavigne, which is a huge compliment. I'm just excited to see what else she has up her sleeve for this year. In our sixth spot today, we have Elizabeth Moss, who I actually bet when I was on The Handmaid's Tale, but sorry, we're just gonna move on. The Handmaid's Tale star has ditched her blonde locks and has changed up her look for an upcoming role. She is now rocking a chocolate brown shaggy haircut for her role in Apple TV's new series, Shining Girls which she will executive produce with Leonardo DiCaprio. Her hairstylist, Tommy Bucket, posted this photo with the caption, new hair for a new project, hashtag Winona forever, cut and color done by me. Apparently the hairstyle is inspired by Winona Ryder in Reality Bites. The fact that this new show is set in the early 90s makes sense for this new do. And I absolutely love it. Like, I think she rocks it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Ricky Martin. Earlier this year, Ricky Martin attempted to start a new trend. He bleached his hair platinum blonde, but not the hair on his head. No, no, his beard hair. He posted a photo of his new colored beard on his Instagram and titled it, When Bored, Bleach. Now, he did rock this new look for a couple of months before going back to his normal beard color. Honestly, that would be a pain to maintain. You'd have to dye it like every couple of days, I feel like. 
Although the blonde beard was short-lived, we will certainly remember it forever. What do you guys think of this? Could dyeing beards funky colors be a new thing? What do you think? Coming in at number four, we have Kelly Osbourne. Back in May of this year, Kelly posted a number of pictures on Instagram that shocked and confused fans. Why? Well, she doesn't look like herself. A lot of people commented on the photos saying that she got a lot of work done. One user wrote, and I quote, amazing what surgery can do. Another asked, did you also get lips done or makeup done all around them? They look way different. And then someone else said, who is this? I am very confused. Kelly then took to social media to slam the haters, saying she's always upfront about her procedures. She said she has never done anything to her face other than a couple of injections in her lips, jaw, and forehead. Still, fans are shocked at her new appearance, saying that she's got a whole new face. Moving on to number three, we have Gwen Stefani. Gwen is another celebrity to change their hairstyle completely this year. I swear though, Gwen can rock any and every hairstyle. It's not fair. Anyways, just this month, she revealed her new do. She kept her signature blonde hair, but added a lot of black streaks to it. On her Instagram, she revealed her new look in a video where she is shining. Like, literally, because she had a filter on. But still. Honestly, I didn't even recognize her in that video. She also posted a photo of her rocking some dark colored bangs. But it seems like those were just clip-ons. Either way, she looks fantastic. And people are hoping that this new bold change is because she's going to drop a new album or something like that. Who knows? But we need more music, Gwen. In our second spot today, we have Jonah Hill. Back in 2018, Jonah Hill announced he was starting to transform his body with martial arts. On social media, he wrote he was trying to train four to five times a week. He continued on saying, and I quote, at 35, I try and get over the stuff that made me feel weak and insecure as a teenager. It's just wasted time and lessons you'll never learn. Trying to let go of that. Now this year, Jonah has really slimmed down. In fact, he took to Instagram to say how proud he is of his weight loss and his body. He posted an image from the Daily Mail that was talking about him surfing in a wetsuit. And then there was a paparazzi photo of him shirtless. He responded to this saying, and I quote, I don't think I ever took my shirt off in a pool until I was in my mid thirties, even in front of my family and friends. He continued on saying his childhood was filled with insecurities. I mean, he was constantly bullied by the media for his appearance. But now he's not bothered by any of that anymore, which is incredible. And just recently in May of 2020, Jonah was spotted rocking bright pink hair. So it seems like a lot of celebrities are going the pink route though. Like even Scott Disick dyed his hair pink this year. Is that the new trend? I don't know, should I hop on it? I'm kind of down to try it. And in our number one spot today, we have Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg is another actor to undergo an intense body transformation for an upcoming role. But instead of slimming down, Mark has been bulking up. In May, it was revealed that he gained 20 pounds in just three weeks. His goal though was to gain 30 pounds in six weeks. This is all being done for his upcoming role as a boxer turned priest in the film Father Stew. While on Jimmy Kimmel, he revealed how he feels about this transformation. He said he likes it because he can eat a crap ton of food. He said, and I quote, I am eating lots of burgers and lots of buns. He also said his first big meal is gonna be, and I quote, 20 piece chicken nugget and 20 piece hot wings from Kentucky Fried Chicken with a six pack of beer. He then continued on saying, why not start with a bang? All right, that's all for today's video. Let me know which one of these celebs you thought had the most dramatic transformation. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out Peach. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Bye. Eight months of work, but I got there. June 2020 to February 20. Not bad for funny. Not bad for 41 years of age. Or <clears throat> Not bad. Now, he also revealed that when he is getting super fit for roles, he. I'm just stumbling today. Got me tripping. Stumbling. Sorry. Honestly, that would be a pain to men. Honestly, that would be a pain to ma ma maintain. I'm just, oh, it rhymes.